Likewise, systems have different operating modes. Now, most commonly, systems will operate in one of a couple different modes. User mode is the basic operating mode when executing user programs. So you're just running your favorite word processor. Typically, you're going to be running in user mode. When you are running in user mode, there's only a few or a subset of the full instruction set on the CPU that's available. The CPU itself running in user mode protects you from executing any statements which may cause security violations or security breaches. It protects you from faulty code or from malicious code. In order to run malicious code or if a fault is going to really hurt you, it needs to be run at a security level or at a mode that provides more of the full instruction set to the CPU. Well, that mode is often called privileged mode. Privilege mode allows the full CPU instruction set to be executed. In this mode, there's no protection from faulty or malicious code. It's much more dangerous, but every system has to run in privilege mode from time to time. Whenever you're executing many I.O. statements and you're communicating with the outside world or if you're copying from one area of memory to another area of memory, it's not uncommon to go into privilege mode for a few statements or a few instructions and then come back out to user mode. In some environments, the privileged mode is also referred to as supervisor mode or kernel mode.